So we're just looking at this property today. As you can see, it's got a conservatory to the front. It is up for sale with to let to sell to buy .com. Do check out their Google reviews. It's got a lovely little garden area here. We can just put some potted plants in. Some aloe vera there, some bougainvillea. And that pink on the trellis there, that'll grow up, it'll be gorgeous. You've got a few steps up here. And you've got the Spanish tiles going around the conservatory here as well. So you have conservatory doors here. You have a little area there that you could just sit a little bistro table and chairs there, possibly too. But I'm going to take you inside and we have a look around. So just in here, this is a nice little area, as you can see. And this makes for extra accommodation. So if you have people, visitors coming over, this would make an extra third bedroom if you wanted, you know. You've got your curtains there, windows that open, records and blackout blinds on the windows. And you've got your UPVC door there as well. So I'm just going to take you inside. Now it does need a little TLC, but really not much. So if I just pan around here, you can see it's quite a spacious living room. It's got two large sofas in and a table and chairs. Above you have your ceiling fan and lights. And just through here is your kitchen, but we'll have a look at that shortly. So I'll just pan around. It's first thing in the morning. The sun's on the other side of the road at the moment, but um, by 11 o'clock it'll be hitting this house then. So through the archway here, we have a bedroom. This will be the second bedroom in here. You have switches and sockets there. Wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows. And just the other side there, you have overhead storage and double wardrobes. Okay, so I'm gonna take you in to the other bedroom now. This is a double bedroom. Your switches and sockets on either side of the bed and you've got little shelves there and just above you've got some decorative lights if I pan around you can see you've got overhead storage and a double wardrobe and coming from the other side of the room you've got chest of drawers and you know you've got plenty of space for a good sized double bed in here and extra storage as well. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So just in here you have your shower room. You have your sink and basin, your WC and a shower. And you've got a BJ there as well. So just slightly, it was closed up and it just slightly needs a little attention on the ceiling there. But as I said, it's just very minor what needs to be done. So I'm going to take you through to the kitchen. And in the kitchen here, you have an extractor hood, integrated oven and hob. You have plenty of base units. And worktop space, you've got your sink and drainer with your filter tap, water filter tap there. And on the other side, you have a unit with your washing machine, your fridge freezer, and your top cupboards there as well. So we're just looking here. You have got quite a large immersion boiler in there. So just pan around for you guys. 
So this is a nice size classical. There is a little couple of tiles so that might need a little bit of looking at. But like I said, it's just a little bit of TLC. We've got a great property here. So I'm taking you outside the back. So this is the back terrace. And it's just really some painting and maintenance that needs to be done on this house. So just here you have some storage. Let's see if I can open it for you. You could either take this out if you want it. And that so this is your back area. When this is all decorated, if you have vision and you can see that it's all decorated and painted, this is a really nice area where you can sit out and have your breakfast. They did have dogs here, so that's why there's a gate over there. I'm just going to have a look in this storage here. So it's just more storage for your bits and bobs, really. So I'm going to take you upstairs now. So just up here, this is a nice place to lounge. You have got storage behind the table there. And you've got a pergola. So they must have had pallet furniture at one point here. We can put the cushions on and you can see the mountains across there. It looks quite nice and the other houses around are quite well maintained. It's really peaceful up here as well. It's really very nice and it's just off the main road there, tree-lined road, which is very quiet as well. So a nice area here, you've also got your lighting here, up here as well. You could put a hot tub up here. So let me take you back downstairs now. So I'll just take you through. So if you're interested in the property, do contact Dawn Info at to let to sell to buy dot com. Hi everyone, so what do you think of this? Now this is a grand little house, you know. It's a two bedroom classical, but it has a conservatory on it. Now the conservatory lends itself to an extra dining area or an extra bedroom if you have family or friends over. You can have a sofa bed out here Put some dark curtains around and you know nice thick ones and nobody can see and it's really peaceful here as well so um i think it's a grand little house you know needs a little tlc but what house doesn't and you've got to put your own stamp on it anyway so don't forget to check the google reviews out for to let to sell to buy.com and please subscribe to my channel costa cleda expats and don't forget once you've subscribed and hit the bell icon, every time I upload a new video, you get an alert so you know what's coming on the market, okay? So see you guys soon and have an amazing day.